So let's get some messages from Spirit. What do you really need to know right now from your Spirit Guides? The Knight of Pentacles. So this is really saying to me to don't give up hope. Don't lose patience. What you are working on is manifesting. It's happening slowly but surely. But this is so that... Um, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations can really come into form in a really thorough, powerful way. This is um, your manifestations integrating on all levels. And this is showing that you're going to come into so much success. So don't give up. This is a lot of positivity. You're planting a lot of positivity. The divine is planting a lot of positivity um, into your life as well. This is success. This is overcoming any struggles. Yeah, this is your manifestation is out there. It is grounding more and more and more. Uh, with this rocket here on the flag, this is saying to really try and stay positive, really try and be in that energy of living in the present moment how you would feel, how you want to feel um, moving forward. What kind of energy do you want to bring in to your life? Be in that energy now. Maybe you could meditate upon that energy, um, visualize, but really soak in that energy, be that energy, and then that will manifest more, that will reflect more in your life. Um, this is saying that you're having some sort of doubts coming up, because normally this shows some, this is normally seven cups in the air. Some of those cups are filled with positive things and some are filled with negative. Don't let um, your negative thoughts drag you off into a downward spiral, energetically speaking. Um, because this is just going to slow down these manifestations and block you somewhat. Um, try and stay positive. This situation is calling for you to have trust calling you for, to have faith. It's asking you to really dig deep, dive deep into your heart and your soul. Um, if prayer resonates with you, then continue with your prayer or just meditating um, on the positivity. This is a confirmation that your highest good is unfolding. And this is an unstoppable um, power, force of love, force of the divine, bringing you all of this positivity towards you grounding more and more into your life you will have a breakthrough is what i'm hearing from spirit three of pentacles wow this is a very spiritual card this is saying that you are co-creating with the divine you have a powerful purpose here you are a light worker all you have to do is open up to receive this light, this abundance of the divine, and then it's coming to you um, very quickly, okay? It could be happening slowly, um, but the more you focus, the more you take the effort. It just said three, 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 and this is the three of pentacles. Um, the more you focus on the positivity and uh, feeling that right now within yourself, the more rapidly these manifestations are coming in. But you have a powerful purpose, okay? This is you connecting with the higher messages of the divine, the higher energy of the divine. And this is all about a spiritual community, you emanating out all of this life, all of this light, um, all of this love and I'm hearing from spirit that you are this powerful inspiration to others more so than what you realize people pick up on your energies whether they consciously realize it or not and you have this really powerful ripple effect that positive positively impacts others um, in ways that you cannot always see but it's very profound Sometimes you're getting stuck in illusion, in doubts, and this is sabotaging you somewhat. Um, take this time, if doubts are coming up, take this time to go inwards. 
to dive deeper, to examine these doubts. If you have any sort of emotional pain, um, any doubts, any negative thoughts, really try and catch yourself in those thoughts and then ask yourself the question, what is this about? Or what is the deeper meaning behind this? What is the truth behind these illusions that keep circulating in my mind? Um, don't bury your head in the sand. Um, for some of you, you are about to really have this powerful breakthrough, but you need to just push a little bit more into the truth, into the light, and then things will become easier, okay? You'll be able to see the blindfold of illusion will be removed from your eyes. You'll be able to see more clearly and things will progress and much more easily, much more smoothly. What does spirit need you to know? Your thoughts are magical. This is your manifestation powers, okay? Whatever perception you choose, it manifests more. It expands in your life. So again, this is really spirit reminding you that you do have a choice. Um, for some of you, it's about um, trying to catch yourself when you're having the doubts and becoming that observer, that observer of your thoughts and where your thoughts are going and what vibration that is putting you into. And the more and more you become that observer and catch yourself and the more easier it becomes to consciously be able to choose what perspective <clears throat> you come at life from. Whether you choose positivity that's going to uplift you and manifest more of that positivity or whether you're going to choose negativity and manifest more of that. Your thoughts are magical. Your thoughts are powerful. So choose wisely what your thoughts are. You can make a difference. Yeah, you make a powerful difference to the world around you, to the people around you. You are this powerful light worker. You are here on this mission. And you really feel this within yourself, okay? Don't doubt the powerful feelings in your soul. When you're in doubtful, doubtful thoughts, <laughs> um, that is a very concentrated energy in the mind. But when you connect with your truth, you feel that everywhere. That is the infinite truth that you are and is all around you. You can make a difference and you are making a difference. And you can make a difference to your own life, your own manifestations. Um, try the, the overall message here is try and think positively. You can do it. Your imagination has no limits. So yeah, another powerful message about your thoughts. Your imagination has no limits. So again, choose wisely what you're th thinking about. Even if, you know, thinking positively feels strange and it feels like you're gaslighting yourself and it's fake. Initially, that's just an indication that you've been more used to being in the vibration, the pattern of more negative, denser thoughts. But the more you kind of force yourself to think positively, again, the easier it will become and it will feel more natural and the positivity will start to flow within you as within, so without. Um, what else do they really need you to know? abandonment fears are holding you back okay fears of loss fears of unrequited love so for some of you this message you are relating this to a divine connection um fears of being left feeling unworthy the separation illusion illusion seeking reassurance holding on so abandonment fears are what's been holding you back okay so again um, if this is to do with a connection um, with another person, again, your thoughts are highly affecting the energy. For many of you on this channel, you're watching this because you are twin flames. And so whatever energy you are on your side, um, you are the infinity symbol. It's, um, it moves to the other person and, and it circulates between you both. So you could be feeling the heaviness right now if you're in a lot of doubt or you could be sensing their doubt and then it's sort of circulating between you both and it could be dragging you both down energetically. This is, if this is the case, then um, 
This is a powerful reminder from spirit that you have the power to transform this and raise this connection up into higher vibrations, more love, more union, um, seeing more clearly and yeah, much more bliss by your thoughts. Even, even if you have a lot of doubts, um, try and break through those to the best of your ability. And then, yeah. This will make all of the difference. You'll be in the flow. You'll be able to surrender the doubts more easily. You'll be able to sink into the heart, which is the gateway to the truth. Um, you'll be intuitively guided rather than the, the doubts dragging you off course. Faith will become more powerful. You'll feel it more. Um, Non-attachment. You know, a lot of abandonment fears can be when we're attaching too much to certain people, certain outcomes, um, attaching stories to that, you know, if certain things don't uh, work out in the ways that we're attached to them working out, then we can attach stories um, that create a lot of pain. Observe all of this and see how that isn't real. Um, Non-attachment, Be try and be in the place of gratitude, focusing on the positives, focusing on and the incredible miracles that this connection is and that are continuing to unfold. And then when you focus on that, you'll see more of those happening um, in your life, in your connection, if it's about connection. Um, Non-judgment, the now, you're coming more into this natural state of being this powerful manifester, working, being in the flow with the divine, you know, working with the divine, co-creating. Soul contract, so... Whatever you are um, desiring on that soul level, this is designed to come into your life. There's an agreement here for this to manifest. It may not manifest in the exact form that you may imagine, but it will always happen in the best way for you. So double mission, releasing karma, past lives together, light workers, remembering each other's soul, familiarity, profound and fate. So there's a powerful soul contract for some of you between you and another soul or you are the same soul. So, you know, another person with the same soul, double mission. And um, this is like the yin and the yang. The sleeves are like black and white here. What else does spirit need you to know? Vulnerability. These um, these doubts have caused you to be in the overactive mind. That is the ego's way of trying to stay in control and keep you stuck in the mind rather than in the heart space, which is where you awaken and free yourselves from all of this false matrix. But you are moving into the heart space more and more, opening the heart, surrendering, letting go of fears, letting go and letting God, dissolving the ego, expressing true feelings or trusting in the heart, being authentic and courage. So much positivity is manifesting for you, okay? And um, this is just a powerful reminder from spirit to try and stay in that positive energy. And you will start to really witness um, these amazing um, things unfolding, these ama amazing miracles unfolding for you. So I really hope this reading has resonated with you. If it has, please let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.